on September 23rd, conspiracies that the world is coming to an end have flooded the Internet. These theories are sparked by the overwhelming appearance of the numbers 9, 2, and 3, appearing in numerous television shows and movies. I'm just going to go through this list. Third rock from the sun, there was a meteor that was scheduled to hit the planet in 2015. And yet everyone on the planet gets all worked up about these pointless little behaviors, blissfully unaware of the great vaporizing meteor due in 2015. <laughs> the Big Bang Theory, an asteroid strikes September 23rd. The Volcano Movie 239 in the license plate. Seeking a friend at the end of the world, an asteroid strikes on September 22nd, 23rd, and ends the world. The movie Deep Impact, starring Morgan Freeman. The asteroid would strike on 922. Evan Almighty, he said the date of the flood is September 22nd. Until September 22nd, midday. And if the arc isn't finished by then, you will be. Is that when it's going to happen? September 22nd, midday? The movie Knowing, the date of September 22nd and 23rd, the Earth is destroyed by a solar flare. Little Shop of Horrors, you had this September 23rd event that humans will encounter a deadly threat. The movie Tomorrowland, Disaster Strikes on September 23rd. In NCIS, The Last Man Standing was the episode, Do They Know 23? No. You know that signal there. In Jim Carrey's movie 23, he mentions the date September 23rd as the day that hell arrives. In the TV show Sleepy Hollow, September 23rd, a new dimension is opened. Hello? Maybe September 23rd. September 23rd, 1780. Evil is released on September 23rd in the movie Ghostbusters. This is the end with Seth Rogen. September 23rd is the date that the rapture happens. In the movie Pandemic, the East Coast is hit with this pandemic on September 23rd. In the movie Labyrinth, evil consumes the world on September 23rd. In nine hours and 23 minutes, you'll be mine. <laughs> TV show Lost. The plane crashes on a remote island on September 22nd. When did you come here? How long ago? 60, 65 days. What was the date? What was the date? September 22nd. It was September 22nd. Movie Castaway starring Tom Hanks. The driver's license of the dead pilot says 923. You have a Taco Bell commercial escaping a concentration camp on 923. Guinness beer commercial. If you keep an open mind, you'll discover dark secrets, and the stopwatch stops on 923. Okay, you can't make this up. It's just everywhere. Black Eyed Peas video, the calendar of the month, it goes all the way up to, like, uh, September 22nd, and then it just stops. So there's, there's, you know, it's all X'd out on the 23rd moving forward. Asteroid City, there was this asteroid that is going to hit on September 23rd. Each year we celebrate Asteroid Day. Commemorating September 23rd, 3007 B.C., when the arid plains meteorite made Earth impact. The video game Fallout 4. They mention 923. S923, recall code Cirrus. Don't worry, darling. That psychological thriller about a fake world, whatever. I mean, there's, it's, I don't want to give away the, the plot, though. But it premiered on 923. And in the movie Split, 923. So you have, like... This alter ego, alter dimension, world dimensions, you know, we're opening up portals. There's something is going to change, right? That's the implication is something will change on September 23rd. Um, so what I'm going to be talking about is the equinox coming up in a couple of weeks. We're about 12 days away. And as you know from my work, the equinoxes and the cross-quarter days... They make um, <clears throat> they make the eight the eight spoked wheel, which the the dark forces use those eight days as portals to do their activities. For instance, uh, March the twentieth was when COVID uh, was launched. That's the equinox. Uh, George Bush started both of his wars on March the twentieth. That's the equinox. March is Mars. War. That's when you do, that's when you take action. The other, the other big action day is opposite. Libra. The 23rd of September. 239. The movies have been warning us about 239. This year, 
looking at the astrology, tropical astrology, because that's what the elite use, because they know that tropical astrology is the astrology that works every time. It is the most superior system, bar none, bar none. And that's why they use it, okay? They know what they're doing. The tropical points in the cross-quarter days, okay? Solstices and equinoxes. March 21st, Easter time. June 21st, starts the summer. 23rd of September, equinox. The start of the fall. The fall. That's when the stock market crashes happen. And that's when every other shit happens. Like November 1st, the day of the dead, Halloween. That's a cross-quarter day, though. And then you've got 21st of December, Christmas, the goat, Capricorn, 21st of March, the lamb, Aries. So <clears throat> the movies have been warning us. I just posted, if you look at the uh, post I just made on my community tab, you will see that I posted this coming equinox. It's getting around on TikTok. And a lot of people have been sending me the, tic the TikTok vids on three, 239. Nine is, the ninth month September has always been associated with uh, the Knights Templar, the Jesuits. Um, oh God, I've done this in other presentations. 9-11 is a very powerful day for the elite. But 9-23, which is also a number used, they use either 923 or 329 or 239. They mix, they mix it up, but you'll always see it in the movies, right? Now, you guys who know all about this, you will have seen, let me turn this around, I have to do something on my whiteboard, you will have seen on the movies that they have a clock and they always have the hour clock here Right, and then they, they'll always have the minute clock at 11 minutes, okay, 9-11. But there's another one that they, ha they show in the movies all the time, and I've pointed this out many times. It's in the Jewish system, the 23rd of September, this equinox here, at the end of Virgo and the start of Libra, it's called Judgment Day or Atonement Day. Libra is about justice and weighing the scales of debt. Now, some recent videos, once you watch the eight-minute TikTok clip, uh, clip, which I posted on Facebook and YouTube, community page just minutes ago, you will see what I'm talking about. Now, if you're all familiar with my, um, my work, you will have seen this cross quarter these days. I always do the equator, then I always do the Tropic of Cancer on top, like all maps have, and then I always do the Tropic of Capricorn, right? You've seen that on my videos many times. There's the equator in the middle. Tropic of Cancer, 23 and a half degrees above. Tropic of Capricorn, 23 and a half degrees below. Let's do the sine wave. We start at March the 21st at the equinox. We go up to June the 21st, summer solstice, Cancer. We come down to the here, where we are now. Go down to December 21st and back to March the 21st. So you get a sine wave, a linear. But what I like to do is I like to make it static and circular, all right? So that's, this now is over here, okay? I'm going to make a circle of it. But so we know this is, this is um, spring, summer, fall. See, we're going to start the fall when we get here in, in about 12 days. We're about here now on the ecliptic. I wish I could zoom out because it's very difficult to hold the camera. I do have a camera stand somewhere, but I forget where I put it. Okay, now, 
So we are here on the 12th and there are videos getting around which you will see I posted about this year. If it's not this year, it will be next year, guys, what I'm about to tell you, okay? This is the day of judgment. It's called Judgment Day or Atonement Day in the Jewish system because this month in astrology here is called Tishri. Libra is called Tishri. And they have Yom Kippur, Rosh Hashanah, uh, the, festi the Festival of Tabernacles or Booths or Tents. This is a very, Libra is very important just as the opposite um, Easter season of, um, of Aries, the Lamb. The Scales of Justice. The Scales of Justice, as I said, they're all about debt. All of the most, um, the three biggest stock market crashes in history have happened around the end of Libra. Because, you see, this is the fall. Winter is here on the 21st of December. So you've got the solstices, the solstitial axis, solstice of Cancer on the Tropic of Cancer, 21st of June, solstice of winter, December, the goat, Capricorn, Christmas. All right, here we have equinox, and here we have the equinox we're coming to and I'm going to be talking about right now. Libra, justice and finance. This is all justice and finance. It always happens around here, guys. Check out, um, go into the net and check out um, famous events that have happened in history on the 23rd of September and you'll get what I mean, okay? It's Judgment Day. Judgment Day is coming in 12 days. And if you watch those eight-minute videos that I've just posted just about 15 minutes ago on Facebook and YouTube, you will understand what I'm talking about. And you'll see, you'll see um, you know, films with Jim Carrey, films with uh, all these famous Hollywood actors. You always see 239 like that. You'll see it on a hotel uh, door, motel door. You'll see it, um, like I said, on a clock. You'll see it like this. Nine twenty-three. Okay, so <clears throat> nine eleven and nine twenty-three. Shalom, Kala Yahweh, Bashem Yahshai, Bashem Rakol Kodesh. The Lord is my teachers, the apostles, and elders of Great Millstone. Peace and mercy to the elect who the house of David will be born again in this generation. And shalom to the one third of Yahshua Rala, who today are known as the Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, who before losing our true heritage were known as and still are the true Hebrew Israelites of the Holy Bible. In today's lesson, we're going to talk about September 23rd and what's behind it. But before we get into that, let's read this. This is Matthew 24 and 36. But of that day and hour knoweth no man, no, not the angels of heaven, but my Father only. So, as we've seen in those videos, some people were equating September 22nd or 23rd, because they're basically the same thing, which we're going to get to in a bit. They were equating this to the end of the world. Well, that's not. I'm going to, you know, just to cut to the chase. September 23rd is not the end of the world. Okay, the end of the world that the Bible refers to, which is Armageddon, the second coming, that is an unknown date. Okay, no man knoweth when this date's going to be. Okay, and, but what September 22nd and 23rd is, though, it is an important day to Esau, Edom. And when I say Esau, Edom, I'm talking about the Caucasian race. And namely, those of the higher echelon who are in fact witches, pagans, druids, Satanists. And why is that? Well, let's find out. Because it says, when is the first day of fall? The autumnal equinox 2023. Well, let's find out. There you go. The year 2023, Saturday, September 23rd. Okay? 
and it tells you that when you go um, further on in the year, it's going to be 22nd, 22nd, and it fluctuates back and forth, just like on the Hebrew calendar, the pagan or druid calendar, it also goes back and forth just because of the the changes of the of the um, year. Okay, this is why certain days fall on different days for them. Now, as the the second video of that man uh, breaking down what September twenty third was and how you know it also ties in with the Jewish holidays of the you know the Day of Atonement, the you know the Feast of Tabernacles and the Feast of Booths. Those actually are not the days that the high holy days of the Bible match up. Right? If you if you are the follower of the apostles and the, and the correct doctrine of the Bible, you understand that we had the Day of Atonement, the Feast of Tabernacles, and the Feast of Booths uh, a few weeks ago. Okay, and but that doesn't negate the fact that the false Jews, the Amalekites, right, the top tribe of Edom, they have set their own days for these for these biblical feasts, and hence they celebrate them in a perverted manner. And in doing so, they also apply their pagan rituals. In this case, it's referred to as Maban. When you go through the pagan yearly calendar, us Hebrews, we also have our own Hebrew calendar, but this right here is the pagan rituals or pagan holidays where you got the solstice, the equinox days. Well, right here, September 21st, which again, like I said, it, it fluctuates a few days, but this is the start of the fall. And like the, the man in the second video showed, it, it follows a sine wave, right? It goes up and down, up and down, right? Well, the, the beginning of the fall is the, is the beginning of the sine wave falling down, meaning that this is a pagan holiday that they see as connected to death or a darkness. Now, along with that, associating this holiday to what these pagan or witches do, they've also tied it to a date of judgment, okay? And this is why for years, as you've seen in the first video, they've been putting little Easter eggs in a bunch of media. And why is that? Well, because this may be one of Esau's days where he's going to push forward his agenda. Now, again, we are on the verge of an economic collapse. And as that man from the second video says, that around September, around this, this pagan holiday, is a time when they see it as a judgment. And we've all heard how the BRICS nations have come out with all their new policies, how they're challenging the American status quo, the economy has just been faltering, and, with, and there's been a lot of strikes from the workers around America, just worsening the economy. So that being said, it wouldn't be far-fetched for Esau to push his agenda and collapse the economy. Now, that may happen, but I'm not sure. I'm not going to hold my breath. This devil likes to stretch things out. But that being said, we shouldn't be ignorant of what is going on during these days. And we shouldn't, you know, freak out about these. Because again, these are all just days that the heathens have set up, right? These do not have, you know, any biblical significance. This is Jeremiah 10 and 2. Thus saith the Ahawah Bashem Yahashai, Learn not the ways of the heathen, and be not dismayed at the signs of heaven, for the heathens are dismayed at them. So you see, these pagans and these, you know, Satanists, they see these solar equinoxes and solar and solstices as days when they need to accomplish their task because one of these days have a better chance of their agenda passing or you know them having great success. Hence, why he said that the bushes launch their wars during the, the month of March, which is or associated with Mars, or the god of war. And why do they do that? Well, because these people, these Edomites, they are pagans, they're Satanists. And this is their secret religion that the whole world ignorantly is following. And that's why 
we should be aware of September 23rd and how Esau is using that and why? Well because you see Esau has a belief called revelation of the method which is where he has to tell us what he is doing before he does it so that way he doesn't build up any karma retribution okay this is his, their belief so if they tell us of, you know of their agendas the things that they're planning on doing and we just go along with it and don't stand up for ourselves or stop it then we are to these Edomites we are complicit and we're allowing it to happen but that's not the way the Bible breaks it down and it's simply just the way that they've lied to themselves to make themselves feel better it tells you here it says the elites do tell us through their books and publications movies and news releases what they are doing this is called revelation of the method if you are too stupid to recognize it for what it is that is your problem from their point of view it is a form of ritual mocking of the victim this is isaiah 29 and 15. Woe unto them that seek deep to hide their counsel from Yahweh Bashem al Shai, and their works are in the dark, and they say, Who seeth us and who knoweth us? And that's the how the Bible tells you that these devils, how they perceive themselves, right? They believe that they are hidden in their in their cloak of darkness. And all this left hand magic and power that they have surrounded themselves in, they believe that they are unstoppable. And again, September 23rd and 22nd, the festival of Moban, all these are false days. These are all made up holidays that the heathen have created. But, like I said, that doesn't negate the fact that they're gonna move forward on these particular days. Okay, so that is the truth behind September 22nd and 23rd, or ultimately the fall equinox, okay? The, the, the day that fall starts, plainly put. Now that we know what's behind it, we should now have keep an eye out for Esau pushing any of his agenda and notice that when things tend to happen during these solstices or equinox days that we should be more weary about its legitimacy and understand that it's more likely just Esau trying to push forward his agendas through his pagan understanding this is Isaiah 47 and 1 come down and sit in the dust O virgin daughter of Babylon Sit on the ground, there is no throne, O daughter of the Chaldeans, for thou shalt no more be called tender and delicate. And the reason why I bring this scripture out is because, you see, eventually, all this magic and all these rituals that have allowed Esau to get away with a lot of his wickedness and has allowed him to take over the world will eventually come to an end. There's going to come a time when all the left hand angels stop doing the will of Esau. And when that happens, these devils are going to be in great trouble. Right? They're going to be in a strait, as it tells you in Job. And the thing here that I highlighted, it says, O oh, daughter of the Chaldeans. Because you see, this right here tells us that there's going to come a prophecy that America and those who run it, which are these Edomites, Right? That there's going to come a time when they're going to have no power in their hand. Right? And that, and it refers to them as basically witches, sorcerers, people who practice magic. Because when you look at who the Chaldeans were, these were Babylonians who were considered the top mages and witches of that empire. And that is what is attributed to these Edomites today. So... Hopefully this video was edifying, Akim. Hopefully you understand a little bit more about what's behind September 22nd and 23rd. Let's not freak out about it, but let's be prepared to, to see what Esau has up his sleeve. So with all that, let's go and give honor and glory and praise to Yahweh, Bashem Yashai, Bashem Rekhaq Shalom.